Hello, this is your Auntie Pam bringing you the stories without the glory. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is a five-part series um, in which uh, I have a book that I wrote, and this is in the second part of the book. So I'm just giving y'all a little snippet, basically, of um, one of the chapters that's um, in a series in the book. But um, this series is called um, Out of Character. <laughs> it's called Out of, <laughs> Out of Character, I Didn't Care Anymore. Because of what was going on at the time in my surroundings. Um, for those that don't know, I didn't mention it, but yeah, I am a Christian. And um I at this point I really got out of character because I was sort of tired of what was happening, what was going on in the environment, and then on top of that, you know, y'all starting to pick at me. So <laughs> um hey, I'm the type of person where, you know, <laughs> so like they said, try Jesus, <laughs> don't try me, baby, because uh I throw more than just hands on that. <laughs> I throw axes and bullets too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> um, this is at the point where I knew I needed to move because I started to get a little bit too much out of character. But at the same time, I was trying to sort of, I guess you could say, stay uh, in character, knowing that I had people that was watching me. Because, you know, you could tell your whole entire life story by a person watching you. You ain't even got to open your mouth. People just look at what you do. And at that time, well, um, I was going to work, coming back home. I wouldn't bother nobody. You know, I speak, hey, how you doing? If you need a help, I'll go ahead and help you. You needed uh, advice, I'll go ahead and give you advice. Um, You needed a meal. I cooked uh, all the time, so I didn't mind about, you know, giving meals to people. Or, you know, they stayed over there, whatever. For the most part, I think for like two of them years, I was feeding the drug dealers on the weekend. So, <laughs> you know, like I said, that's just me. Um, I've been there, done that. I was doing the same thing they was doing when I was out there. That and more. I'll explain all that, you know, another time. But, I mean, I didn't discriminate. I talked to any and anybody. You know, like I said, if you, you know, came with me and wanted to talk or wanted to play it or whatever, needed some help, I didn't mind. So, you know, just with that being said, I didn't feel that you needed to mess with me. Don't mess with me. I'm not going to mess with you. Don't mess with my items. Don't mess with my stuff. I'm not going to mess with you. Because, like I said, uh, try Jesus is not me. Try Jesus is not me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is that is real. Because just because you're a Christian don't mean that you're going to let people stuff all over you, baby. It don't even work like that. Not over here, don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm getting ready to let you know this is what happened. Now, like I said, this is part of the series of Out of Character. Because I ain't going to lie like I wasn't. And, yeah, I could have gotten hurt. But just by me being out of character, a lot of stuff that I did, God was still sort of helping me and saving me. And, like, he about was looking out for heaven like, really, little girl? So you going to do that, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then again, God could have been laughing at me like, you know what? Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and move her because uh, she'll look cray cray. She'll look cray. Uh -huh. Yeah, daddy, but you my daddy though. You know, you father God. You know, you know how crazy I am now. So, mm -hmm. if I'm doing something crazy to help you to, you know, move you all along, you know, for you to go ahead and move me, you know, about a year then, you know, hey. No, I'm just playing y'all, but for real, this one ended up happening. Okay. If there was, um, some guys that, um, this was the summertime, y'all. Woo, cha. Summertime in the projects, baby. When I tell you, them bricks ain't no joke. But, uh, summertime in the projects, honey, the, <laughs> baby, you feel like, uh, you a turkey in the oven, honey. Especially if you ain't got no air, no air conditioner, or no air, you know, on. That's just how I feel. But, um. For the most part, like the ones that I was in, they was starting to sort of remodel and, you know, give people, you know, the good uh, windows, you know, that can keep in heat and keep in air and all that stuff, whatever. And then they were putting down, uh, AC, uh, what you call it, HVAC. They was putting down those units outside. So, you know, um, for the most part, you either had a fan in your one though, or you had an air conditioner if you could afford an air conditioning, which when I had moved over there, I had two. But you didn't see that many people that actually had the air conditioners because, like I said, they really couldn't afford them like that. So, um, but like I said, I worked all the time. I was gone from morning to night. I was gone from like seven o'clock in the morning and I'm coming back at 10, 11 o'clock at night. So I'm gone literally all day. And like I said, in one of my previous videos, there was a neighbor that was actually looking out for my, um, apartment while I was gone. Okay. But these two particular dudes, because it was so hot and I understand when you want to do stuff or whatever to try to make money and you want to do stuff to you know, uh, help out your family. But baby, you don't mess with nobody else's stuff. You don't mess with nobody else, else's possessions. Be an entrepreneur and think about what you need to do or what you need to start or go and get you a job. You know what I'm saying? Don't be running around here stealing from other people. You know, because that's dangerous enough just stealing from other folks, son, because, you know, people don't play like that. But anyway, 
especially when it's hot. For some reason, honey, when people get hot and heated, honey, they turn into wolves around him. <laughs> but anyway, these two dudes call themselves going to different people apartments. And when they knew that they was gone, they was taking their air conditions out the window. Mind you, uh, when I had first moved over there, my friend had bolted mine down. So I wasn't worried about y'all trying to take mine anyway because we had some of the screws up in it, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't even think Bruce Lee could have kicked that out the window. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, mine was bolted down, so I really wasn't worried about my air conditioner getting stole. But at the same time, you ain't going to be messing with my stuff anyway. So, um, what happened was the lady had told me she stayed across the parking lot and she had a clear view of everything, right? And so, um, she had told me when I had came home, uh, one night, she said, uh, it was, uh, four guys that was on your porch. And then she said, two of them left, two of them stayed. And so she said that she, uh, saw them, uh, you know, kept walking around on the porch, looking around the building and all that other stuff. So she yelled out her wonder, hey, y'all get off that lady porch. So they ended up walking back around the corner. She didn't know who they were because, you know, uh, they had their face and stuff covered up. Okay. And so she said after that, um, she, well, when I came home, she ended up telling me what was going on, what happened, and, you know, the guy was on your porch, blah, blah, blah. And so after that, 